Today I'm sharing with you a two week Aldi grocery haul and I am about two weeks out from being due. So I thought it'd be a fun time to share with you what I kind of wanted to get and what we would stock up on. As you can see, half the table is fresh produce. The other half is stuff that will be used for actually a party coming up that I'm hosting for my husband and just some other events we have. So this is typically what I buy every two weeks. And so hopefully this gives you encouragement or some ideas of what you can shop for at your local stores or at Aldi as well. I did spend around $190 on all of this for the next two weeks, or I guess some of it will be a little bit longer than that as we did stick some meat in our deep freeze. But I'm just gonna walk you through what I bought. So on the produce section, for vegetables, I always buy these bags of spinach because we eat spinach every morning and they're about $1.20 a bag and so then I just stick like four or five in the freezer and then always have romaine lettuce and this usually lasts one week and then the next week I don't really have fresh lettuce. Um, it'll be nice when my garden starts producing here and more because I will have lettuce then too. And then I buy two bags of the two pound carrots I always buy sweet potatoes. We always have those. Cucumbers too. I always buy little tomatoes and I bought two of these because of the party coming up. I always have mushrooms as well because we eat those every morning with breakfast. And sometimes if they're a really good deal, like the other week they were $1.29 a pack, I stocked up and then I sauteed them and froze them. Bought some grapes and some raspberries because those were reasonable. Um, that's not <laughs> vegetable, but so be it. And then fruit-wise, really, oh, I also buy always buy avocados, especially when they're really on sale, like the 39 cents a week. Right now, they're 79 cents so per avocado. So that's a little bit more than I like to pay, but it's still not a bad deal. Then I bought pineapple and... Some of these, like I said, are for the party coming up. I bought a bag of mandarins because they were on sale. Mangoes right now are very much on sale. They're 59 cents. And then I bought like six bulk things of bananas because we always go through two or three bananas a day. Plus I will freeze them once they get more overripe for smoothies, um, banana breads, banana cookies, banana ice cream, lots of different options for those. Okay, then to the frozen um, vegetables and fruit, I always buy like a 75 cent bag of mixed veggies because that's a very quick thing to do for us if we need something for the supper, or especially after all this fresh produce has been used up. And then I always buy, if I don't have them fresh and frozen, I always buy a couple bags of frozen fruits like blueberries and strawberries or mangoes, but since mangoes were on sale, I didn't need to buy those frozen. Then I always buy a can of carrots or two because on Sunday nights, my daughter just loves to eat those when we have smoothies and popcorn and then she eats canned carrots as well. All right, and then I have eggs. I usually get more than three, but they were not on sale or as cheap as they typically are. They're $1.10 for a dozen and usually they're like 72 cents and no I don't buy organic eggs or organic milk um, or raw milk or anything like that that would be something I'd maybe transition into but for now this is what we do I bought a gallon of milk I always buy a gallon of whole milk at Aldi and just make sure I have some in the freezer so I have two gallons in the freezer and one in the fridge just because you just bother milk in your fridge for a couple days when you know the next one's gonna go bad and it's ready for you then I bought myself some almond milk because I've been making some iced coffees. I always buy Parmesan cheese for when we make our homemade pizzas and then some pepperonis to have. And I bought some more marinara sauce. And this is the best one I found so far that doesn't have extra sugar. So it's the Regano marinara pasta sauce. And I have an event I have to make some baked spaghetti for coming up too. So I bought a couple of those. I um, just bought a mild salsa for after um, birth because I don't want to have a lot of spice right away. I needed just some more balsamic vinegar and we go through raisins so fast. Bought some canned olives for the pizzas as well. And then I was running low on almonds, so I bought those. 
and this ranch dip for the party coming up as well. And then I also bought some Majul dates because that is supposed to help naturally induce labor if you eat four a day. So when I hit about my 40 weeks, if baby hasn't come, I will be eating those on a regular basis. And then to the dairy, I have a thing of cottage cheese and some whole milk Greek yogurt. We love those. Um, let's see. Oh, I bought, I bought about six packages of cheese, two of each, because you can freeze blocks of cheese. And I just love having those on hand, especially these when you need to make things like a baked spaghetti or pizza. So it makes it easy to have these just to thaw them in your fridge as well. And then I bought a couple things of butter and I always need to have some dark chocolate chips in the freezer just in case you need to make something for an event. And then we always eat these 85% dark chocolate. So I stocked up a little bit on those just in case you don't make it back before baby comes because I know I'll enjoy having those. Um, and then I also bought a loaf of sourdough bread. No, I have not gotten into making my own sourdough loaves yet. I do sourdough starter, but I just haven't made the sourdough bread yet. And then a couple loaves of whole wheat or multi-grain bread that will stick in the freezer as well because my husband eats those every day. And more on the food side, I just have some rolled oats because I typically have those or we have oatmeal a couple of times a week or I make some cookies or protein bars that require oats. And then for the more processed stuff, we have oops, um, tortilla chips, the spaghetti pasta I needed for the party coming up, and then just some simple snacks for like church for my daughter. So just some regular Cheerios and a couple other types of little less sugary cereals. Um, I don't like always having cereals for our daughter or for us, but sometimes you need something kind of quick like that, and that's okay for me to take to church when she needs a snack. And then for some drinks, I just bought their dark roast coffee. No, this will not get us through two weeks, but I have a friend who is going to get us some um, bulk coffee from Costco. And then I buy those Belvie waters, and especially with the party coming up, I bought two of those. And then I just bought a regular white all-purpose flour because I know that I've been making cookies more for events as well, and I do use all-purpose flour for that. I use whole wheat for most of the things I make ourselves. And then to the non-food items, just needed some trash bags, some freezer bags, uh, some more cutlery to have for events that we are hosting. And then I bought some wipes because I didn't realize that these are for sensitive skin as well, and they are not too bad to have in the vehicle or try it when baby comes. I do like the more natural wipes, but I may give these a shot this time, we'll see. And then I did throw a pork, a chunk of pork in the freezer, an Aldi pizza, and a whole chicken, and like I said, some milk and some more spinach. So all this really, like I said, was about a dollar or $190. I do buy some other items I order online, like natural peanut butter, um, organic syrup, things like that, um, cane sugar, just because I don't like the refined sugars and stuff like that. So I don't buy everything at Aldi, but I do buy the majority of our week's food supply or two weeks food supply from Aldi. So this is what I have and this will get us through the majority of two weeks and by then we may have a baby. So hope you enjoyed watching this and I'll see you in the next video.